Oh, instead of asking her to fucking analyze it and save it like she just did. That's a really good point. I think he probably would have said that. Mm, right? That I be mean, true because, as well. like, there's no way he didn't know that they had the Chamber of the Heart. I mean, it would only make sense. It's like he, in order for him to be as connected to predict Ebonhorn being corrupted, he would have had to know that the player was working with the Magni and with inside the Chamber of the Heart. So it wouldn't I would make agree. Sense. Yeah, yeah. Because he, he did have spies in uh, Neltharian's lair when we went in there to retrieve something like during the quest lines that involved Mother. Yeah. Like the, the corruption or whatever. Yeah, it seems like it would make sense. Let's see. Wouldn't I say to burn it if, if you'd asked? Yeah. Okay, well, let me look at this mount here. So obviously this is the B mount. Dude, I like how it shows you riding the mount now. Not that mount, but this one right here. Look at that. While most harvesters dream of only honey and flowers, this adventurer specimen uh, looks to wide world beyond the Stormsong <laughs> Valley. Nice okay. one, dude. Thanks. Um, all right. Let's find the rest of these. Okay, so this is all new. Uh, or sorry, this is all old stuff. Okay, what else is there? Enchanted Fey Dragon, Heart of the Aspects. Okay, what about these? This is all the same. That's the same as well. So we only have one new mount. Oh, there's a new one right there. Alterac Valley of Old E. Raised in Alterac Mountains by the Stormpike Clan, trained to headbutt orcs. This mount looks really fucking nice, man. I like this a lot. One mountain, uh, one quest and two mounts. Well, they're not finished, right? I mean, it's, it's not the finished patch. Um, okay, yeah, this mount looks fucking amazing. I like that a lot. Okay, just give me one second. Uh, Ooh, you can see how you sit on the... Uh the crab mount oh you're right okay let me see that wait what the fuck yeah, yeah run sideways doesn't it that's fucking sick what the fuck i can't runs... wait what the uh, that fuck? thing is awesome oh my god okay yeah i'm waiting oh for my... that man dude don't tell the admins this okay dude Okay, all right, all right, all right. Let's see, are there any more things to look at? Yeah, it looks like all this is basically the same. Uh, we just had a few other mounts here. Uh, is there anything else I should look at? Deathwing mount. Okay, wh what's it called again? Uh, it's like uh, the Obsidian Worldbreaker, World right? Yeah. Yeah, you want... There it is. It. That mount is fucking sick, dude. Oh, what is, really a, what is a special... Nice. Let me read this um, text on I've had many up. names throughout history, all of them spoken with dread. Neltharion, Zaxus, and many more. Yet you shall know me best as Deathwing, for so I am. The bane of life, the darkness within history, the lord of death, the master of destruction. And I tell you now, and so it is true, that the world is mine. Jesus. So edgy. Why is it so edgy? <laughs> his name's Death. Such a yeah, his name is Fuck Deathwing. Head. I mean, come on, man. What do you expect? Hey, the mount does look really fucking badass. Like this actually looks amazing. I really, really like this mount a lot. Uh, I hope it is at least kind of challenging to get, so not every single player in the world has it. But I have a pretty good feeling that it won't be, and it's going to be really easy. At Alabaster Griffin, uh, did I miss that one? I did. It'll probably be as easy to get as the. Uh... What was Corehound. it, the core hound yeah. that was the... Yeah. Chiseled by the stone masons of Stormwind, this stone griffin symbolizes Blizzard running out of money and needing to make quarterly earning reports for the next, uh, the next report. Dude, what the... <laughs> yeah, that's not what it says, asshole. Yeah, it is. I just read it. That's exactly what it says. So right there. You don't, you don't see the fine print right there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just the exact same thing. Uh, the new just... recruiter friend mounts. Let's see about those. Uh, oh, wait, yeah. Let's see. What's the new recruiter friend mount called? I'm trying to remember the camel. I want to see it. That camel looks good. You could probably read it if you read it on your phone. You guys have phones, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, let's see. Where is it? I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dude. Uh, let's see. I don't know what his, what his name is. Maybe he's not added into the game yet. Uh, do I have all the filters? Unusable, maybe? No, not that. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I guess he's not here. We, we already looked at the B mount. I'll show you the B mount again, because obviously that's the main one that people are looking forward to seeing. The Honeyback Harvester right there. I hope they make this a mount that Horde can get to. Uh, I feel like that would kind of be fair, since uh, you know the Alliance are able to get uh, Kufan, and the Horde should be able to get this one here. Uh, look at the Journal for 15th Anniversary Raid. 
Can you just type in cam? I wonder if it'll come if you type in camel. In the... Uh, it seems like it's about the same. Yeah, there's no dungeon journal for this at all. 15th anniversary. Uh, search for recruit a friend. Okay, uh, let me do that. Yeah, uh, it's all the old mounts. Uh, nothing unique here. Uh, do you have any speculation on a Deathwing mount? No way it'll be RNG, right? Everybody will be able to get it. Like, there's no way they won't be able to. Okay, uh, just give me one second here. Uh, new Goblin and Worgen animations. Yeah, we do need to look at that too. Uh, right now I'm trying to just go through all of this stuff first. Okay, give me a second here, guys. Hmm.